what I want to show you now is cleaning of, of the Spectrum and Bachman Plus trucks. Okay, so here's the thing. I want you to look at this worm gear. You can see that. Now, I'm not exactly sure, but I think this might be Teflon grease, which, as you know, I can't stand. I can't stand Teflon grease because it, this is what happens. Not only that, I can't even pick it up. So I'm going to zoom in on it. See that pile right there? That is the motor collar from the Plus model. And it just disintegrated. That plastic gets attacked by this grease for sure. I mean, yeah, also being exposed to the environment attacks it. But look, it's not, it's on the inside. It ain't getting attacked by UV light. This is what happens when that kind of grease spreads. This is, well, there's no, no, even if you could say it's so brittle, look at that, it just comes apart. Same with the other one. This should be nylon, but look at that. Should be Delrin or nylon, but it's, I mean, whatever they use for that, garbage. But that's not the problem. The problem is that the grease that they use to lubricate it is, over time, a bad thing. That's why we always use, uh, I'm going to get the plug, even though they do not sponsor me, we will be using the Mag One. Mag One doesn't even know I exist, but I use that stuff. And it's good stuff. Get it from the auto parts store. It's like 10 bucks for a lifetime supply. And just to be sure, this one I got. I got this tub in like 1989, maybe about 89. Okay, and I've only used that much on the hundreds of locomotives I've done. Now, recently, I got another tub because I use this. I've got one out in the garage I use for other things. Basically, it's a still the same stuff. And as I've shown you in the past, on the locomotives I did way back then that I used that on, no plastic attacking occurs. It's awesome red lithium. But, you know, for some reason people use it. Now here are the two gears I pulled out of one of the trucks. And they just feel that that's not right. Ain't supposed to feel that way. Dang, I'm surprised these gears are even still intact. But it doesn't feel right. So I got the two baskets here. Going to the ultrasonic. Yep. Now these parts are interchangeable on the plus and the spectrum. Here's the worm gears. Man. Someone, I'm not sure if anyone's been in here or not, but uh now probably no, not they have this has not been opened before for sure. Because the uh, motor mount is so crappy. If they had been in here before, that motor mount would probably be gone. All right, so into the basket. These worm gears are filled with like, it, it's like a putty now. It is not good, okay. So into the basket. Fortunately, this stuff is interchangeable. So it doesn't matter if I put them back together with different parts. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to take, take apart the truck. Now I'm taking it out. Once you take the frames apart, trucks just come out. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this top. This is what holds the truck in place. And I, I will say that I do like the design of these trucks. I mean, they only use two gears. Uh, it has a weakness. We'll get to that in a second when I get down there. But... Um, the split frame is tricky, but it's actually not that. It's not terrible. So we need to take our Phillips screwdriver and take out these parts. And we need to get rid of all of this grease that's in here. This has got to go. This one that I'm doing right now is so bad. 
Oh, man, and this is on the Spectrum one. This one is just awful, awful what's in here. All right, so this one is bad. That right there is a no-go. Not with this type of grease. That's a no-go. I'm going to take the bearing ring off. Get a nice clean. I'm putting them in two, two different baskets. Okay. So when you get it to this part, let's go ahead and take out the bottom clip. Now this, being that this is a basically a one pre, like this, makes it, it makes it easy. It does make it really easy to uh, put these back together. So that that's a pretty good design. I mean, the people who design this, yeah, they're, they're pretty dang smart. They did some good work on a lot of things, and then someone else went ahead and uh, decided to use Teflon, which was a bad thing. These wipers. Okay, here's a weakness on the wipers. Okay, so these go on the side frames, on the sides. They only wipe the out, two outside axles. That means the middle axle is not picking up power. Now, we can fix that. Question is, do we want to? Uh, there's a simple way. Here's the interesting thing. So on the, um, here's the plus. There's a one right there. There's a one right there. These two are identical. But on the uh, Spectrum model, check this out. There's a two on this one. And there's a one on this one. That's interesting. I mean, as far as I can tell, that doesn't do anything. So we got to punch out these little axles. Not a problem. But I do like the fact that not only is... I do like the fact that not only... There's only two gears in here. There's two big ones. But they're the same. Which is cool because you can't mess it up. That's excellent. That's why I like these. Um, and now, two years ago when I entered the contest, I did a Spectrum SD45. It got second place. Behind my... I, I had a, a lifelike... Literally, I have le a lifelike ancient GP35, but under contest rules, because of the amount of work I put into it, that one got first place. And the SD45, which looks much nicer, got second place. Because the uh, lifelike one took a lot of extra work. It was just my test pad, and I entered it um, not because I thought I could winter and I just entered it because I had done all the same work on it. Okay, that's 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 unacceptable. Alright, that is not acceptable for how it should be. I see oil and I see Teflon grease. It's not the way we want it. We want air tool oil on the bearings and we want uh, red lithium on the gears. And this thing is, I'm going to have to wash my hands after doing this because this Teflon spreads all over the place. And as you can see here, it attacks, and as you can see over there, it attacks types of plastic. Now, this here has got to be, I'm thinking it's got to be Delrin because there's no attacking the plastic. Whatever these two are made out of, I don't know what that is, that, that kind of plastic. I'll do some research on it. But um, destroyed that, destroyed that. That is definitely from this type of grease. Now, another thought that I had is there is the possibility that mineral oil was used on the bearings. You know, three in one? Three in one oil? Because it sure does feel like it, I'll tell you right now. 
I don't care what anybody says. If you don't know the feel, then it, it, it is it is not our usual stuff. That's for sure. I can feel that this has got to be. It's got to be Teflon on these. Feel that. But on these ends of the bearings where it still looks wet, I'm going to say that is mineral oil. And mineral oil has, has a property, like 3-in-1 oil, that you do not want to use on bearings. That property is that mineral oil, over time, one, it'll attack things. But two, um, it will dry a lot. And it will, instead of lubricating, it'll go just the opposite. 3-in-1 oil has special uses, but this is not the proper use for that. We want something like an air tool oil that is a preservative, and it's like a more like a permanent lubricant. It does not attack plastic, it does not dry out, and it doesn't uh, uh, spread everywhere. That's what we want. All right, so these two, these are ready to go into the ultrasonic get these parts cleaned up now here's the other thing so in this contest that I'm doing um, they test them to see if they work they got to cross they got to do a crossover switch which since I'm entering the track contest also they'll probably cross over one of my switches but none of the stuff that I'm doing right here is technically counted for points so why am I doing all this? There is the possibility that I can score some points in the construction. There's five cat. There's five things they judge on. Construction is one of them. And by doing this and making it run smooth, as we like to do, there's the possibility of having of maxing the construction points. Maybe, maybe. Um, I've judged before, and let me tell you something. Judging is hard. I'm doing five locomotives. I mean, last time I did three, I didn't get any. None of them got a merit award. This time, I'm doing five. I'm hoping that I have learned more because now that I am a judge, I can't judge my own stuff, but now that I am a judge, I, I have a little better idea. But none of this stuff here technically counts for, for points. So why am I doing it? Because these locomotives are going on my layout. Win or lose, they ought to be good enough to run. So we got to do it right. And, and one of the things that in the instruction it says, don't make it harder than it is. Well, that's, that's fine for some, some stuff. And it's not that I'm trying to make it harder than it is. It's that um, I don't want there to be a question. If I'm going to win this, then I want to win it right. I want to win it right by doing the right thing. And the right thing to do is to clean this all up and make them run awesomely like we do with our other stuff. We want to do the right thing. And the right thing is, it's not just to qualify. It's not just to uh, not make it harder than it is. The right thing is to do the best work we can. We want to do the best work that we're capable of doing. That's important to me, and I want to, to uh, tell you that doing the best work you can is more important than winning, qualifying, or anything like that. Do your best work. Do your best work. That's just, that, that's, that's, uh, it's an important thing, personally. And what I like is when people come and run some of my locomotives, you see my rubber band GP7, people are amazed. You do the right thing. Do the right thing, do it the right way. And you may not get a contest qualifier or anything, but you'll have a good, solid piece of work you can be proud of. That's important. All right, let's move on. Let's get these guys into the cleaner. Let's get them cleaned up, and let's get ready to uh, make the best running locomotive we can make. 